Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. It is transfer deadline day this January. A year ago today, it was massive, wasn't it? Monstrous. The deadline day, Chelsea signing Enzo Fernandez. It seems as though it might not be as busy today. So better still, you might as well subscribe to the channel in case I'm wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I actually think is going to happen today as a Chelsea fan. We've obviously got Liverpool tonight in the Premier League and Pochettino has asked questions about deadline day, which of course, I don't even know why journalists even waste their breath at times asking some of the questions. Of course, Pochettino's not going to really allude to anything that's got nothing to do with Liverpool versus Chelsea tonight. If you want to hear my thoughts on Liverpool and Chelsea. My match preview went up yesterday evening in the UK, but today we're going to go through four screenshots here to give us as much information for the beginning of this deadline day morning as we possibly can. The first piece of news, which actually is quite funny because when Nicholas Jackson went to AFCON, I think a lot of Chelsea fans were like, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. He's not scoring loads of goals. He's not putting the ball in the net. So you go and enjoy your time at Senegal, mate. Since then, we're crying out for anyone to put the ball in the net. And Jackson can score when he wants to. So we're happy to see him back, aren't we? And this is the news regarding Nicholas Jackson. Maurizio Pochettino reveals why Chelsea are flying Nicholas Jackson to Manchester after his AFCON exit on Monday with a connection to Liverpool to play at Anfield to follow. So this is good news. Chelsea tonight could well need to call upon Nicholas Jackson. And because he's been playing... The flight, I'm thinking about it, is basically going straight up. So it's not like he's going to be flying from Bali or flying from Cancun or whatever. Nicholas Jackson could well be ready to play tonight for Chelsea, whether it's from the start, whether it's from the bench. We'll have to wait and see what the plan is from Maurizio Pochettino. But I'll be quite honest with you, if Nicholas Jackson is fit and ready to play, then I wouldn't be surprised if he actually started the game tonight for Chelsea because... We are still creating chances. We've just been missing almost every single one of them unless we're playing Middlesbrough at Stamford Bridge in a cup semi-final. We move into the next screenshot here today. Fulham are looking at a deal for Chelsea striker Armando Broya. Could depend on Carlos Vinicius leaving. I really hope that this doesn't involve him coming the other way. If Broya goes this week, it's likely to be alone with an option to buy. Now, we've heard... The Wolverhampton Bloody Wanderers were putting in an offer yesterday for Armando Broya. It was a loan without any kind of option or obligation to buy. Wolves are looking for a straight-up loan, and this doesn't really cut it for Chelsea. Pochettino said there is nothing to communicate. All is quiet, and we are so relaxed here. I think, obviously, Pochettino's comments regarding Chelsea's activity on the deadline day it's, it's, there's a couple of ways you can look at it. I think there's definitely a Pochettino just trying to keep everything centric and focused on what is a massive Premier League game tonight at Anfield. He doesn't want there to be conversational distractions. Of course, when it comes to Chelsea players, it's Pochettino's job to ensure that even the players that are linked with moves away from Chelsea, their minds, until the club accept anything and they can then decide if they want to go or not, it is entirely up to Pochettino to ensure that every player's mind is fully focused on getting the job done to the best of our abilities tonight at Anfield. So, Chelsea discussed John Duran internally. I I'm, do you know what? I'm kind of sick and tired of talking about this bloke. And I feel as though I've I I've negatively forced my opinion in, in, in a negative light throughout this entire transfer window. But when a player is injured, it's probably not the best way to go. He remains a player appreciated at Chelsea, but at the moment, there is nothing else in terms of negotiations. This comes from Fabrizio Romano. And the more that this window has gone on, the more I think it's been quite evident that there wasn't actually going to be any Chelsea business whatsoever. And I think the weird thing is that we're trying to offload some players when you look at the bench week after week after week and you're, you're looking at... I love seeing academy players in there, but academy players being on the bench, not because they necessarily are ready, but because of injuries, I find it very odd that the focus from Chelsea has been on simply offloading players, particularly 
Armando Broya. Yes, I don't necessarily think that Broya is a brilliant striker for Chelsea right now, but when you've got no options, you might as well keep him. And at least, like, instead of forcing this agenda of, yeah, we're trying to sell Broya, we want an important fee and all this stuff. Like, even if he doesn't get that move away, we've rejected a loan from Wolves. Will Fulham go in for him? We don't know yet. That's probably the only action that's going to happen for Chelsea on this deadline day. But if he doesn't get a move away, what's Armando going to be thinking? If we want him to start, like, getting in the groove again, looking like he's up for it, maybe if he's given an opportunity to start or come on for Chelsea... Where's the enthusiasm going to be? Is there going to be that desire to give his absolute best when the club have seemingly given up on him and just tried everything they can to get a buyer, an actual buyer, not a loan, in this January transfer window? He was given a massive contract not too long ago and the club have basically given up on him. I mean, I'm sat here video after video saying that I've given up on him as well. Unfortunately, that's just the way I see things right now when it comes to Armando Broya, but realistically, we've got to look here at this transfer window and say that there is a massive opportunity that has been missed. I think Callum Wilson, as much as a lot of people have been anti the Callum Wilson potential signing, I do think this could have been an option for Chelsea where it looks as though the fact that we've not spent money, the problem has been screaming in our faces all season long and even prior to the beginning of this season. It's just been so obvious and evident that Chelsea need a striker who can put the ball in the back of the net, in and around the box. And we've looked at this January and thought, nah, we don't need to go for anybody here. Paolo Dybala, I don't know how we have let this one bypass. It's an experienced player. He had a 12 million euro release clause, about 10 million quid. And he could have been an option for us. Not just going through the middle, but out wide as well. Dybala could have been an option. It brings another experienced player into the squad, a player that scored goals his whole career. Yes, there's injuries, but like, since when has that stopped us? We buy injury prone players all the time. A whole squad is basically prone to an injury or three every single season. So, for me, at this point on deadline day, first thing in the morning when news is really slow, Pochettino's comments. I mean, let's let's go through these comments right now. It's deadline day on Thursday. Are you excited? No. I'm excited for the game tomorrow, as you've already established. I think it's an amazing game tomorrow to play. A great opportunity for us to face a team that is doing really well. Of course, I am not excited for Thursday. Not too many things are going to happen. We are quiet. The market is quiet. And of course, we are excited for tomorrow, the game. I am not excited for Thursday. Is that a comment from Pochettino where it's like, he's disappointed. So by default, therefore, he's not excited. He wanted players, but the club just haven't actioned anything and we're not going to get anyone through the door to improve the squad to improve our chances for the season or is it simply a case of Pochettino just knows like look we're not going to back you now because we're going to back you in the summer it's it's for me Chelsea are a team that are still transitioning a team that has so much potential but the club surely and we've heard lots of reports that there is a big name elite premium all of these buzzwords of positivity, striker, coming to this club in the summer. So I hope it doesn't bite us. I hope it isn't a case of we've thought that spending nothing this January and just recalling a couple of players from loans who probably won't even play for us all season long. I'm hoping that this doesn't get to a point where we keep on missing chances. We're not putting the ball in the net. And even if we'd have just got a striker in on loan, that we would have got more points and got European football next season. Brighton were beaten 4-0 at Luton yesterday. Newcastle are beating Villa. You know, the Premier League is wide open. Man United have got Marcus Rashford going on 12 flipping hour benders in Belfast and then just being let in scot-free after what they did to Sancho. Where's the standards there? United are in a mess. Chelsea have got an opportunity here to actually make something of this season. And I'm hoping that this lack of action in this January transfer window to address the goals issue at the club isn't the thing that we're talking about between now, the end of the season, and then even if we miss out on that striker because there's no Europe next year, blimey, would that be an absolute tragedy for Chelsea Football Club. But it's deadline day. We know what this club are like. We can pull the rabbit out of the hat at any given moment. It's always popcorn, box office, drama when Chelsea are involved. So stay tuned. If there is any breaking news that comes up throughout the course of today, I will update you guys here with another video.
on GBFC. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy yourself, hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. If you're interested in my vlog channel, link is in the description, as well as the Liverpool Chelsea preview. The link is down below. If nothing happens transfer-wise, I will see you in the match review. Six things we learn after every game is uploaded tonight straight after what hopefully will be a memorable Chelsea night at Anfield. Just go on Instagram, watch Eden Hazard in the Carabao Cup, absolutely tormenting this Liverpool team, and get yourself gassed. Come on, you blues.